Hello, my beloveds. Happy 2023. Welcome to the newest episode of the Reverend Chris video blog. Today, I'd like to address a question from one of our church members that I think is vital to the work of this religious community going forward. Here is the question. As a person of color, I appreciate moments of beloved community. I'd really love, though, to see a minister that looks like me in the pulpit. Any thoughts on when that might happen again? Thank you for that question, which, as I said, I think is vital. I'd like to start by setting some context. This congregation has approved the Unitarian Universalist Association Eighth Principle. It reads, and I know many of you have heard this many times before, but I don't think we can hear it enough. The Eighth Principle reads, We, the member congregations of the Unitarian Universalist Association, covenant to affirm and promote journeying toward spiritual wholeness by working to build a diverse, multicultural, beloved community by our actions that accountably dismantle racism and other oppressions in ourselves and our institutions. So, we approve that. And we also have an end statement. End statements are kind of more specific goals we can pursue to live out our mission that together we nourish souls, transform lives, and do justice to build the beloved community. Here's that end statement. We partner with other organizations and faith communities to dismantle a culture of white supremacy and other systems of oppression within ourselves, within our church community, and beyond our walls. Sounds very similar to that eighth principle, doesn't it? And it means that twice this church has committed ourselves to doing the work of dismantling racism and other oppressions in ourselves and our institutions. Now, to do that work, we will be using a report from the Unitarian Universalist Association's Commission on Institutional Change. That report is called Widening the Circle of Concern, and it kind of provides a pathway for us to go about doing this work. One of the major areas it asks us to look at is involving more people of color, more people who have experienced oppression in our religious professionals. And I would take that even further. I think it takes the whole church. I think we have to involve people of color and people who have experienced other forms of oppression throughout the church, on our board of trustees and our lay leadership positions throughout the life of the church, as I said. If you'd like a copy of Widening the Circle of Concern, I would love for everyone in this church to read that. I've ordered some copies, and as soon as they get here, you can check one out. You can also look at it for free on the UUA website. I'll send a link to that to you when I send this video out. And finally, you can also get it for your Kindle and read it there. One of the things that your ministry team is doing is that we're trying to, when we have opportunities for guest worship leaders, to invite ministers of color to be that worship leader. We've done that once. We'll continue to try to do that going forward. Let's all join together to doing this work of building that diverse, multicultural, beloved community. It'll take us all. We can do it. Until next time, sending you much love.